distinguish between strong and weak acids and bases and blah blah blah. Okay, determine which of the following are strong acids, weak acids, strong bases or weak bases. Assume they're all 0.1 molar and that the information is relative. So we've got the first one, pH of 1, it's below 7, so it must be an acid, and it's a very low pH, it must be a strong acid. Next one, if it's a poor conductor, that means it doesn't have many freely moving charged particles, which means it must be weak. And if the pH is just below 7, it must be an acid. pH below 7 is acidic. Now these are SL explanations. HL have more complicated ones. Fast reaction must be strong. And acids react with metals. Bases don't. So it must be a strong acid. For D, the hydrogen ion concentration is 10 to the minus 10 molar, which gives me a pH of 10. It's above 7, so it must be basic, but not much above 7, so it must be a weak base. For E, the hydrogen ion concentration is 10 to the minus 4, and using the same logic, that's going to give me a pH of 4, it's below 7, so it must be an acid, but not much below 7, so it's a weak acid. F, if it neutralizes acid quickly, but what neutralizes acid? It must be a base. So that's a B, and if it's fast, well, strong bases react quickly, relatively quickly. G, if it's a good conductor, it must have lots of freely moving charged particles and be fully dissociated, so it's strong. pH of 13, that's basic. And finally, on this odyssey, slow reaction with calcium. Slow reaction is indicative of something that's weak, and if it reacts with metal, it must be an acid, because bases don't react with metals. Like I say, if you're doing higher level, you're going to require more detailed explanations, but this is good enough for SL.